if we can close above that line, then I think we're back on track for my price target of dollars and cents. All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom. This is not financial advice. We are here to talk about all things investing. And today I want to talk to you about a company named BitFarms, stock ticker BITF. So BitFarms did a press release after the bell yesterday, uh, updating their production and mining activities. So I wanted to go through that because it's got some really important stuff in it. And then I want to go through the chart uh, because as you guys might have noticed, Bitcoin's been on a pretty wild ride the last day and a half. We did have a flash crash yesterday when it was all said and done with. It looks like we settled down about uh, five or six thousand dollars from our highs over the weekend. That's what's happening with Bitcoin, which obviously in the very short term affects what's happening with BitFarms as a Bitcoin miner. This is not a Bitcoin video, so I'll just leave it at that. I want to go through what happened with BitFarms uh, because I think they have some good things happening. I will tell you I am bullish on BitFarms, so let me go through this and tell you why. BitFarms provides Bitcoin production and mining operations update over 2,000 Bitcoin in custody. Now, let's talk details. Mining production highlights as of September 1st, 2021. Mined 354 new Bitcoin during August 2021. That's the second best month they've ever had. The best month they ever had was just the month before July when the mining difficulty level was at a recent low. It bottomed out in July and BitFarms has not really added very many machines over the last few months. So it makes sense that with roughly the same amount of machines and a little bit higher difficulty level, they fell a little bit short of July's results, but still very positive results. 354 Bitcoin mined. Their previous record, previous to July, was 265. So they're just crushing what they did in the first half of the year. So they say mined 745 Bitcoin in the first two months of the third quarter. That's equivalent to 98% of BitFarm's entire second quarter. So they're, that's how far ahead they are in the third quarter of the second quarter. And it's only going to get better. They deposited 2,028 Bitcoin into custody through September 1st, 2021, representing approximately 96% of the company's Bitcoin produced this year. They've held on to over 2,000 Bitcoin and they've mined over 2,000 Bitcoin through August 31st this year. They mined about 1,300 Bitcoin in the first six months of the year. And you're going to see once we get through going through everything, it looks to me like they're going to mine double that in the second half of the year. So maybe as many as 2,600 Bitcoin or more in the second half of the year. So that would be a 100% increase from the first half of the year to the second half of the year. These are my projections. Please do your own due diligence. Uh, you know, the, it's hard to project the future. There's a lot of variables involved in how many Bitcoin they're going to mine, the difficulty level, the amount of machines, whether they arrive on time, whether they can keep them up and running. So uh, I'm assuming business as usual, I think there's a very good chance they could double their Bitcoin mining in the second half of 2021. I want to quickly show you their website to point out uh, an important number. This number right here, 1,420 or 1.42 exahash per second of installed and operating Bitcoin mining rigs. That number hasn't really changed in the last 75 days. So that's why we saw in August uh, a slight dip in the number of Bitcoin they mined because they had roughly the same amount of machines and the difficulty level was a little bit higher. However, this number is about to change big time. So let's go back to the press release. BitFarms is scheduled to receive its first delivery of 7,230 Bitmain S19J Pros before the end of September. So we are in the month of September. So they're expecting delivery of over 7,000 machines. And they later go on to say the additional 723 petahash per second represents an approximate 50% growth from the company's existing network hash rate of 1.4 exahash per second. So this is one of the reasons that I think they're going to be mining so much more in the second half of the year than they did in the first half of the year. The two giant variables are, number one, the mining difficulty level, although it's on the rise, fell to historic lows in July. So 
even as it rises in August and September and October, it's going to take a long time just to get back to where it was in April and May of 2021. So they get the benefit of that. In addition to that, I'll show you this press release. This was on March 2nd, 2021. Bitfarms announces purchase agreement for 48,000 micro BT miners to expand hash rate capacity by over 5 exahash. So this delivery of 7,230 is part of a much, much larger order. And they expect all of that to be delivered throughout the rest of the third and fourth quarter of 2021. So they're looking to go from a hash rate of 1.4 to uh, 2 almost immediately, and then up to 3 by the end of the year. And then they're looking to go to 8 by the mid to end of next year. So there's going to be gigantic increases in the amount of miners they have at work and basically a one-to-one -one correlation there. The more miners you have mining, the higher your hash rate, the higher your hash rate per second, the more Bitcoin you're mining. So those are the reasons that I believe Bitfarms is going to significantly outperform the first half of the year to the extent of potentially having the second half of the year be double the revenue of the first half of the year. They are also holding all of their Bitcoin, so they're now over 2,000 Bitcoins. This was something that they were lagging on coming into this year. Hot 8 and Marathon and Riot all have larger inventories of Bitcoin. However, now with the over 2,000 that they have and the potentially maybe 2,000 more that they're going to mine the rest of this year, their balance sheet is going to start to look a lot more similar to hut eights and riots and marathons. So that's that's a part of the valuation process. So they've made great strides in this. They've radically increased the number of Bitcoin that they're holding. And I think they will continue to do so for the rest of this year and through the rest of next year. So those are the main points I wanted to go through in this update that they provided. Now I'd like to take a look at the chart and just show you what I'm thinking, how that affects the price action and and where I think we're going from here. This is Bitfarm's chart for the month of August, basically. Again, I've drawn a green circle on this to show that was the price action during yesterday's flash crash. So we were up well over $6.50 at one point. We got down to just about $5.50. I have three blue lines that represent some points of support and resistance. So. I think even through this flash crash, you're going to see that Bitfarms really respected these lines. So I just want to walk through it real quickly and show you where it's at. We were above the 595. I have a short-term price target on Bitfarms of $7.32. That kind of went sideways yesterday. I'm waiting to see how things shake out. We were above and holding this line of support. It did flash below that and then went right back to it at the close of business. So just so that you know, I did buy on the dip. When we hit this line of support, I bought on the dip yesterday. Today we opened up with what I think was a massive overreaction to what's going on. Today's action was actually worse than yesterday's action for the first half of the day, but now it seems to have reversed and we're on the way back up. You will see a blue line of support at $5.35. That line has held since August 17th. So that's been a line of support. So we almost touched that this morning. I did buy in, my, although my line is at $5.35, I bought in a little bit more at about $5.45. I tend to do that because these lines are by no means perfectly accurate. So I don't wait for the last few cents for it to exactly touch one of my lines of resistance or support because I know these are more of a guideline than a rule. As an aside, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. If you look at 100 people's chart, these lines will probably all be in a little bit different spots. So again, I'm doing this chart in trading view. You guys can go in and do the same thing uh, or whatever program you want. So these are the lines that I've made. I think I think these two lines between $5.35 and $5.95 are holding very strong. And in fact, you'll see a bunch of green candles in a row over the last few hours. 
headed back up and it looks like maybe we're headed back up to the 595 so maybe we'll retest that line if we can close above that line then I think we're back on track for my price target of $7.32 in the short term and the short term to me is the next two to four weeks so that probably got extended out a little bit uh, you know, over this weekend, it seemed like things were flying high. Bitcoin was on the run, but we kind of got stopped in our tracks there yesterday with a flash crash. So I think we're just, everybody's waiting to see where this settles out. Uh, I am still buying on the dips. So if it does dip back down towards my $5.35 line, I'll buy some more. Uh, at the moment, it seems to be on the rise. So depending on where you guys are at or what your cost basis is, if you can still average down at this point, you know, that's something that you guys can consider. Again, this is not financial advice. You have to make your own decisions. So I want to talk about one more line. There's a line at $5.04, so call it $5. That was pretty much the beginning of this recent bull run on Bitcoin. We really have not retested that line at all. So... And again, this $5.35 line held even during a $10,000 downward flash crash of Bitcoin. So I don't believe that that line is in play, but I'm leaving it on there. If we do test that, I will buy some more there. If we drop below the $5 line and that turns into resistance, then I think it would be fair to say that either something has happened at BitFarms in specific... Uh, that has changed the narrative or that Bitcoin has turned into a short-term uh, bear market. I use the term short-term again because I'm, I am bullish on Bitcoin. I think any of these uh, downturns are buying opportunities. The question is, you know, are they going to last a day, three days, two weeks? Bitcoin in the short term is extremely hard to predict. So I'm just watching my lines of support and as long as they're holding, I'm remaining confident. So I am bullish on Bitcoin. I am very bullish on BitFarms in specific. I just wanted to go through that press release because I thought there was a lot of very positive information in there. And I think that as the market settles down, that information is going to get digested and it's a good thing. So those are my thoughts on BitFarms. Best of luck and I will see you in the next video.